What's up guys, HTG Brian here, back with some more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is officially episode 4! That's right, we've got level 16, boarding party story! No trophy achievements found in the making of this video, however we do get a kyber brick for completing the level, and we also get a kyber brick for hitting the silver stud status of true Jedi. No mini kits or challenges as you can see there, however we are going to have fun and kick things off in what is my favorite trilogy of the three. I guess that's how you say that. All right, episode four, A New Hope. Now, because you guys have requested and supposedly liked my last reading, it's time again, a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> I'll get that figured out one of these days. Episode four, A New Hope. It is a period of civil war. Rebel spaceships striking from a hidden base have won their first victory against the evil Galactic Empire. During the battle, Rebel spies managed to steal secret plans to the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star, an armored space station with enough power to destroy an entire planet. Pursued by the Empire's sinister agents, Princess Leia races home aboard her starship, custodian of the stolen plans that can save her people and restore freedom to the galaxy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You guys seem to like it. I'm not sure how great it really is. Did you hear that? They shut down the main reactor. There'll be no escape for the princess this time. Secure the airlock and prepare the escape pods. Huh? Your Highness, the transmission we received. What is it they've sent us? Hope. We're over Tatooine. This will be safer with an old friend. Tatooine? Then we must head to the escape pods, milady. All right, all right, all right. We are officially in control of Leia as she trudges around the Tantiv Four, I believe is the name of this ship. And look at that, there goes R2 and 3PO heading off. As you guys know, we need to uh, secure these plans we have with somebody who is non-human. And the reason for that is because, uh, you know, the Jedi Force powers, or in this case, Vader and his powers, can of course manipulate you to tell everything that he needs to know. So we're going to try to avoid that by placing these plans in a droid, which is pretty cool. Now, one of the trophy achievements that we have noticed in our list is that you have to knock helmets off of 50 stormtroopers. So this is the first time we've really seen quote unquote stormtroopers. So we're going to make sure that we aim at the head and take off them caps. And it won't be long as I think we get roughly like 25 baddies taking their hats off in this level alone, and oh no. Ambassador, shall we begin negotiations? <laughs> Leave it to Lego. Such an epic moment followed by such a whimsical, silly moment. Now, uh, we found some bricks on the ground. We went ahead and built them up into a grapple. We timed it right and got extra paid for that studdage. And then I'm a little bit lost. I'm like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Now, as it turns out, uh, I'd like to just say I was looking for studs and such, but that is not the case at all. We're going to need to shoot 
that target up above. Now that we've ripped that out with the grapple, it's going to open the door and allow a safe passage. Psych! We've got more baddies, so go ahead and take their helmets off. That's right. Hats off to you, sir. <laughs> Go ahead and deplete those meters, and down the hallway we go, and we find ourselves in a blaster battle. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but I am really bad at blaster battles this time around. In The Force Awakens, it was easy. It sort of like sucked you into behind cover, and you sort of stayed there. It was not really an option to just free roam around. I guess free roam might be a confusing word as we use that term for something else, but you guys get what I'm saying. And this is funny too, watch this. I knock a couple of these off the shelf and they always seem to find me and knock my block off, but uh, it's rain and studs, hallelujah, get them all quick. What? Was that the remix, Brian? <laughs> oh no, we've dropped down below. We got ourselves another grapple point, so we'll go ahead and rip that out. It actually reveals a handle that we can jump up onto, but not before grabbing a bunch of studs. Oh, I missed so many back there. All right, by jumping up on that handle, it actually temporarily turns off the electricity on the lower ground here. We're going to need to toggle to our other character and go to the far end and switch the lever that actually turns it off completely. So now Leia can follow us. And I'm, as you can see, I'm very hesitant about <laughs> advancing here, but we're going to go ahead and keep on with the keeping on. And we get to our first sort of uh, choice. Do we go left or do we go right? Some of these levels actually have multiple ways through. Some of them might even be related to challenges. In this particular case, I avoided all challenges and all mini kits, so you can be sure that this has nothing to do with the challenge. At least not right now it doesn't. But we're going to look over to the far right side, and that's what we need to do. We need to blast that door open. But there happens to be a grapple plug. We'll go ahead and secure that. And now we've got some bricks on the ground, and those can be made into a multi-build. So you got a left and a right option. In fact, we got a laser turret and a water cannon. I chose the laser turret. It's basically like a little mini Death Star. And we're going to hop onto that and get our pew, 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 and blow the doors off, quite literally. As we proceed through the hallway here, we find some more stormtroopers. Now, one of the challenges I thought had something to do with... Um, using a particular item against the Stormtroopers. In fact, uh, defeat a Stormtrooper with their own weapon was the name of it. I suggest a new strategy was the name of the challenge. It happens to be challenge number two for this level. Uh, I opted to not use that Death Star Cannon to take any of them out. I may have, but that may not even be the challenge itself. We'll have to come back to that in the free play. Which, again, if you guys are way ahead of me and wanting to get those mini kit and challenge informations, the trophy achievement guide on our main site is basically completed all the way through free play, thanks to Tyler P. and his awesomeness. So he grinded out, and it's not even been a week since the game released, and he's basically got it all ready for your viewing. Now, I'll be using those guides in order to make the videos soon enough, but we still got quite a few story levels before we get there. So lots of people are asking me, hey, Brian, are you going to do free play? Well, yeah, of course we are. But just like always, we got to finish the story first. We got to get all those needed characters, those abilities, any of the data cards that are going to give us the multipliers or whatever things that Tyler P. and my guide writers are suggesting for me. And then we'll go ahead and get to it, right? All right, in this room here, I struggle a little bit. Not because of the bad guys, not because of removing the helmets, but because I build up this, it's like a uh, like a computer terminal, and it's totally good. You gotta pull it into place here, and then you gotta choose left or right, or maybe the game chooses it for you. At the same time I'm doing that, I actually hit the silver stud status and get that extra kyber brick. Now I know I need to slide this down into place down there. In fact, as soon as you grab onto it, it gives you sort of like a halo showing that. But I, I couldn't figure it out. Why won't it go any further? Why is it getting stuck? Does anybody have the answer? I know what it is now. It's because Leia is simply standing in the way. -a. Get out of the way, -a, Leia. Come on now. So I sort of uh, get her out of the way. You can see once I figure that out, I can push it right into place. Although at this particular moment, I was still a little confused. But look at that. It goes all the way into place. And for, for a hot second, I was like, oh, you just needed to use Leia to get that. No. She was just in the way. That's it. We're going to have to call her Princess in the way. -a. No? Boo? I don't know why, but I could hear somebody booing. That's probably you. All right, uh, moving along, people, moving along. Pull it back to where it started, and it should activate a couple of baddies. Again, remove those helmets. Hats off to you again, sir. And eventually we'll get that trophy slash achievement. In fact, I think so far I've been successful. And to be honest with you, 
you might not be able to avoid knocking the helmets off. I mean, minus an explosion type of uh, removal, I, you know, you might just, as like a halfway point, it might just remove the helmet. I, I don't know. Well, I, that's my first encounter with them, so we'll have to see. In fact, I haven't asked Tyler P. about that one specifically because I knew that was going to be an easy one that everyone would accumulate on their own. So, all right, next room. Here we go. In fact, we got a couple of gonk droids in this next room. Psych! It's actually Stormtroopers in disguise! <laughs> oh, boy. This game does not ever let up. Like, it's, it's constant humor and fun. I know we've had a couple of people claim that they're not enjoying it thus far, but oof, I don't know. Some people just hate to hate, I guess. So far, I love this. And uh, guess what? We're almost to another cutscene. we got to get upstairs and follow R2. And in fact, it should toggle us out right now. R2, did you? Where are you? The Death Star plans are not in the main computer. What have you done with those plans? Secret mission? What plans? What are you talking about? All right, we're uh, but do 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 do. <laughs> All right, we got to make our way down this hallway, and I advise not slamming into those electric or fire-based tubes and wires and things hanging. Uh, as it will do some damage. Now, okay, I had asked previously maybe if there was some tougher puzzles down the road, and as it turns out, this one seems to have three spinny wheels instead of just the two that we'd been working with before. Now, it did take me an extra second or so to complete it, but they're still pretty simple. Now, did you notice there was an R2 and a 3PO panel there, but we chose the R2 panel? That could be another route choice that we'll have to uh, return in free play and check it, check it out. Pretty sweet. We can use the grapple and hop across this. And we also get to uh, wrench. Uh, we got to put a wrench in these fool's plans. That's right. We're going to go ahead and remove a couple of other R2 bots all the way to the end of the hallway. Once we get there, we get surprised by some more stormtroopers. What are these guys doing hiding all over the place? It's like they're trying to foil our plans. All right, down the hallway we go, following the old waypoint marker, and booyaka I thought there was going to be another hiding guy in there, but not the case. And eventually we get to switch back to 3PO and build up another terminal that R2 will complete, and that should take us out of here once we get this all done, dude. I guess insert the uh, the old Jeopardy music right now. Do, 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 do. Oh, doop, 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 doop. That's funny. The damage doesn't look as bad from out here. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her away. <laughs> She must have hidden the plans in the escape pod. Send a detachment down to retrieve them. Yes, sir. What a desolate place this is. What makes you think there are settlements over there? What mission? What are you talking about? All right, all right, all right. Boarding pass level complete. Free play unlock. Lock, lock, lock. That's right. We got a kyber brick for completing the story. We're also going to get one more for hitting that silver stud status. Look at that. We were almost halfway to getting that true Jedi, which means a 2x is likely going to be just all we need to hit those marks of true Jedi. Now, I'm getting some blippage there. I apologize for that, but hopefully you guys can tolerate that. Um, it's been a rough ride. We're working through it. In fact, Elgato has made the decision to replace my capture card and see if that fixes my issue. So fingers crossed that the new replacement will fix it because the new, new version didn't fix it. But anyhow, I'm flapping about my Elgato again. We unlock a few characters and even a ship. And look, all of them are ready to use. We don't even need to spend any monies. But, uh, guys, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for level 16, a boarding party store.
Sorry. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to click that like button if you did. Check us out on social media. Of course, the happythumbsgaming.com is the home of our trophy achievement guides, including this one. Check it, check it out. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time, see ya.